Hi, my name is Fonu Storms. I am an actor, um, a voiceover artist, and a presenter, actually. Ooh, my journey has been very interesting in the creative industry. Um, at the moment, I've been focusing a lot on my acting work um, and, and getting to front of camera as an actor, as a performer, has been a very long and windy journey. I started off in the creative industry in radio, um, segued into television and radio, and then decided at some point in 2015 to enhance a natural skill set I had, which is acting. I'd sort of always been performing through school, like through my whole life. And it's definitely a place where I feel the freest to tell the truth of somebody's story because you are now fully reenacting this character. Um, <clears throat> but it wasn't until 2015 where I decided to take it professionally. Um, I did a course at the Relativity Media Film School in Los Angeles, and that was fantastic. And since then, I just kind of started taking on different roles. And most recently, as a lead actor in a Showmax original called Crime and Justice Lagos, which is the most phenomenal bit of work I've been involved in till dates. And it, it is pretty dope, I have to say. But it's been a journey getting there, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Ah, challenges I encountered as an actor, to be honest with you, it was about being recognized as an actor. Because my entertainment industry experience um, is varied, and my background is varied, people wanted to put me in a specific box, in a specific pigeonhole. So when I decided to start training more as an actor and I was looking for acting work, no one was thinking of me in roles. Um, and then I got really great advice for another, um, from another um, colleague in the industry I'm someone who I respect and admire so much, Lala Kim Doju. Um, and she said, oh, why don't you start putting out some of the work you have done as an actor, some of your performances from Relative TV Media Film School. And that way, as people are casting, they'll begin to think of you more. And that's what I do. And it completely worked. It wasn't immediate, but just reminding people that, hey, here I am using your social media platforms, whatever it is, as a platform to say, this is the work that I do and this is what you should know me for like the response started coming in it was pretty dope so i would advise anybody out there that's what you should do okay so did my gender pose a challenge um in this career line a little bit in some ways um specifically in acting as an actor you're in a vulnerable position as far as i'm concerned you're like one of the the most vulnerable people on the set because you have to shed yourself put yourself in the hands of um, the producers, the directors, the lighting, the makeup, everybody, um, the editors at the end of the day, and trust that whatever performance you give, especially as a, as a film or television actor, and just trust that the end result will sort of come together. Um, it often means very late shoots. It often means very long nights. And sometimes as a woman, that's difficult. If you have to get home at 3 a.m. in the morning for whatever reason, or you know, just being out if you're married, whatever the case is, it, it can be a little bit difficult. But personally, my career, I, I approach everything kind of the same way. I feel like through life, being a woman will offer you challenges. It's just part and parcel of life. So I'm like, yeah, let's roll it. I don't necessarily think of it as, oh, it's because I'm female. Unless it comes to things like reds, then yes. <laughs> then yes, I get upset because there's a challenge in my life. Sir, please rent to me, even if I'm just a single woman. Um, three words I would use to describe myself and other women who are making a name for themselves in the industry or in their industry. Um, I would say bold. <laughs> bold because it, it takes a certain level of guts to go against what is considered the grain. It takes a certain level of willingness to, to put yourself out there. Um, to ridicule to do that. I don't say fearless because I think people are afraid, but you do it despite of that. You're like, yeah, it could really mess up ego. So bold. Um, uh, I would say... They're leaders. At the end of the day, you're willing to stand in front, to be ahead, to take that responsibility. It's tough. Um, I would say they're bold leaders and just beautiful. I think it's incredibly beautiful and feminine to do that because you're accepting of whatever can come, but you go and you stride anyways and you do it as a woman. I love that. Yeah. 
Advice for women who want to build a career in my field? Dream big. Whatever that dream is, expand it. Like go, just go hard or go. Like see, even if you like mess up, like there's a level to which you'll fall, but like dream big, go. I think one of the biggest things that I would advise myself is like, yeah, dream even bigger than what you're dreaming. You can do it. My favorite song on that compilation would be Stop, Never Second Guess Yourself. I, I, I love that entire project, but that particular song um, definitely speaks to me. And I, and I think it's completely applicable for all the women who are listening um, and all the girls like who want to try, just try. All the girls call you average. All the girls called you average. They say you can never be no bad bitch. You can never be no bad bitch. All the girls call you average. All the girls called you average. They say you can never be no bad bitch. You can never be no bad bitch. Now look at you, hair down, body rocking, you look fly. Mary Poppins. All the boys looking at you, you the target. All the girls talking about you, you the topic. Hair down, body rocking, you look fly. Mary Poppins. All the boys looking at you, you the target. All the girls talking about you, you the topic. Don't stop. Don't stop. Never second guess yourself. Yeah. Turn around and bless yourself. Yeah. Girl, you looking good. Then the mother, did you dress yourself? Yeah. Girl, you fucking awesome if you met yourself. Yeah. Take yourself to dinner, then caress yourself. Eat your own precipitation. You With these fierce women leading, evolving, and taking up space within the media and entertainment industry, the narrative is forever changed. We are no longer powerless characters within stories. We are creating new realities for women in our ever changing world. Happy International Women's Month. Mm. Never second guess yourself. And now all the mother girls look tragic. All the mother